Hello friends, today we will learn StarTrails image stacking using StarTrail.de. It is a free software to use and you can find the download link in the description below. Before we begin, let me tell you, I always shoot raw. Yeah, even for the StarTrails. I make sure I carry extra memory cards so that I can shoot in raw images. I have already edited the raw images in Lightroom and exported the images with basic touch-up. Check out our video on basic start with editing in the Lightroom software. The link for the video is also in the description below. Now let's get started. This is the startrail.de software. On the top left side, we have few tools. Open images, open dark frames, save image, average foreground, start trails and video. It is a very easy to use software with very few and to the point features. Let's import the JPEG images by clicking on open images and browsing to the desired folder. Select the JPEG images. We can see the files added in the image section on left side. Now let's add the dark frames by using open dark frames option on top left. On an average, you can use 15 to 20 dark frames per 100 star trail images. One thing to remember is to keep the resolution of dark frames similar to the star trail JPEG images which we have imported in the startrails.de software. For this particular image, we have a resolution of 1631 into 1080 and the resolution of the star trail images which we are using as sample is also same. At this moment you must be wondering what the heck are these dark frames. If you want to know more about dark frames, the link is in the description below. Startrail.de has introduced an amazing feature to reduce noise in the images. By adding dark frames, we ask the software to perform noise reduction on the image. And well, this application does it quite flawlessly. Now let's process the image. We have two options. We can either create a single star trail image or video of the trails. Let's check out the star trail option. By clicking on the star trails option, we can create the star trail image. Here we have two different light and blending modes. The first one is with gaps and faster processing. In this, we can also give falling star effect, either fade out or fade in as per individual taste. The other blending option we have is light and screen blend without gaps and slow processing. Select this option if your star trails have gaps between two stars. This usually happens while changing batteries or due to incorrect setting configuration in intervalometer while shooting. We will select the first option, lighten. We also have the option to save images for crescent trails. To see what this actually does, let's select this option and browse to the path where the images will be saved for crescent trails. Now let's start the processing. Wow, here we have the final star trail image. We can save this by clicking on save image option on top left. Let's check out the crescent trails results. Oh, this looks beautiful. What we have here is a sequence star trail image. This is amazing. If you are wondering where can we use these crescent images, well, you can create time lapse using these images. Check out the time lapse video we have created using these images. Link for the same is in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out our video on how to create a star trail time lapse video using advanced video timeline feature in Photoshop. Here we have our final star trail image. You can keep on experimenting using different effects available in the startrail.de software. Let us know your queries in the comments below 
and we will answer them. Kindly like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Happy Star Trailing!